My name is Marlon Mendez. My name is Italia Costa. My name is Arlen Garcia. And we are both with Miss Heath Animation 2 class. I work on animation, script writing, and storyboarding. I did animation work, storyboarding, and script writing, the editing work for my short film. I worked on script writing, storyboarding, and a small bit of the animation. It's about this grandpa who has been put in charge of babysitting his granddaughter while his actual daughter is off on a date with, you know, her husband. Shenanigans ensue, the daughter kind of... The little girl has a bit of her own personality. A terror, she's harassing the dog, and then at some point comes to a halt because Turns out the little girl is hungry, so grandpa makes him makes her some soup. She doesn't like the soup, so she throws it down because she's a little wah wah crybaby. <laughs> but eventually, the grandpa learns to accept her funny little antics, and it all ends well. Next question: What was your inspiration for the film and character? I designed the character Ali. My inspiration for her design is the generic little child character with the little jean suspenders and her pillar hat she always wears. I based my part of the animation off of a person who got first place in a pizza tossing championship. And I also based it off of Cookie Mama, where in Cookie Mama, where you spread out the dough. And in the Pizza Tossing Championship, I used that when our grandpa decides to toss around the pizza and be a fancy. You see, I am a theater kid. <laughs> and before we started the film, Zarni the production. I was in a play that was called Step in a Crack. And in that play, I played the main character of Ellie. She was a rather uh, rambunctious little girl. And when thinking of ideas and fleshing out the personalities of our characters, that is who I drew most inspiration from. But also, you wouldn't know this, but the name of the little girl in the film is called Allie. She also was mostly inspired by my little niece. She too has quite the personality on her. And really the relationship is mostly based on the days in which we have to babysit her. You know, I drew a lot of inspiration from those experiences. What did it take to make this film? Well, first we started with coming up with an idea. We had a couple of initial ideas. Like, my initial idea was a little more angsty. Still followed the grandpa, but, you know, it, it really touched upon the topic that, you know, he has a dead wife who died while giving birth. You know, now, now he's got to be a single father to raise his little toddler. Cooking show. Focus on like 
the process of cooking. Yeah, focus on the process of cooking and there's a lot of details and sound effects and yeah. But eventually, we found ways to meld the ideas together. At the end, we landed with a story about a grandpa and his granddaughter, which was a good idea because our original ideas would have taken way too long to animate. So I'm glad we landed on a more cute, shorter story. After that, we actually started script writing. Me, Arlen, and Marlin <laughs> sat down uh, for a very long night trying to write that script. Eventually, I wrote the rest of it. You wouldn't know this, but there are a lot of spelling errors. <laughs> um, but, you know, we got through it. We got the script finished, which was the important part. After that, we started organizing the scripts by... We used a color system. I was in charge of storyboarding the yellow section, and I'm pretty sure the blue section, I might be wrong about that, though. Marlin was in charge of storyboarding the sections that were green and purple, and Arlen, she was in charge of storyboarding pizza flipping scene. I think we labeled that as teal. <laughs> After that, you wouldn't know this, um, but we were actually going to put voice acting in the film. I was in charge of that, but sadly, <laughs> that would have taken a whole lot more work, and it would have led to the film just be sounding very unfinished, and I wouldn't have wanted that. So that idea had to be thrown out the window, even though I did a lot of the work, actually. Uh, there are actual voice clips. I'll probably play them soon in the documentary. Don't worry about it. You two kids enjoy yourselves. Oh, it's going to be no biggie this time. Love you and thank you for offering to watch Ali. Pretty like princess. And afterwards, we finally started animating. At first, I was really getting in the flow, you know, doing the whole keyframes and then adding a whole bunch of beautiful in between. But then, after weeks of working on just one scene, I realized that I, I, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't keep keep that momentum through all of it. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to finish it if I just kept it that way. So eventually I had to shorten my process from just keyframes to just adding maybe up to four in-betweens. That way I could pump scenes out a little more quicker. If you could do anything differently during the making of this film, what would it be? Time constraints, like working out a proper schedule to ensure that what was done on the original due date there was an initial due date, but we didn't get crap done. So we had to change it. And even then, even with the final product, some stuff was left unfinished and others were left cut out. Uh, that, I'm just not proud of that. Um, I wish that I could have had a proper art style for my section of the animation. It's very painfully obvious what section of the animation I worked on. If I had a proper art style, I would have likely been able to get it done in a way that was satisfactory to me. So while showing my film to my peers and um, other people who might have been interested in giving it a glance, they all, most of them mentioned that they didn't know that the grandpa was a grandpa. And that led to a lot of incorrect conclusions, which was very funny, but it made me think, oh wow, we should have, uh, we should have made that very important point very clear. So if I could do anything differently, I would probably maybe change the design to, of the grandpa to make him look a little older, or maybe have the son-in-law in the first scene. Um, I really should have done that. <laughs> that would have probably made the point very clear, but yeah, that's what I would have done differently. Um, I also searched for sound effects, but a lot of them had background noise, and we couldn't use that. What are you looking forward to for the interior film? I hope 
that our film can win at the film festival. Good old number one, numero uno, first place. Get the gold, you know? And I hope I can use it as well as my future careers. Because I intend to go in the workforce of animation. And it'll be good to have it on my portfolio so that people can look at it and want to hire me and give me their money. So that I can live. I also hope that we can get first place in the animation section of the film festival. And I also really hope that we can get viewer's choice. Yup. Thank you so much for sitting down with me and being a part of my documentary. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm like sweating. My glasses are getting foggy up. Thank Bye. you. Hey, thank you for having me. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa was fine as fuck. <laughs> TBH. That is getting cut out. TBH. <laughs>